What is up, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing it again. Filmstruck Film Club. We watch a movie a week, sometimes a little more than a week, but either way, we are chugging right along. It's our second, second movie of the new year, which is exciting. This is my buddy Groot, by the way. I'm Carson Higgins. If we haven't ever done this before, welcome. There's a bunch of movies we've watched already, so if you want to catch up, go right on ahead. But if you're here for this because you watched this week's movie, then look at that. That's how we're meeting, and that's uh, that's just so great. Uh, we watched a comedy. It is from 1961, and it's from Italy. And uh, yeah, this film is called Divorce Italian Style. This film is... Uh, I don't think it's aged very well, personally. Uh, it it has, uh, you know, a, a lot of lovers of this film. It's got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. It was nominated for Best Director, Best Actor. It won Best Screenplay at the Academy Awards. Foreign language film winning Best Screenplay at the Academy Awards is no easy feat. And this was an original comedy. Uh, but yeah, it's directed by Pietro Jeremy. I have not seen any of this guy's other films, but... Uh, the, the look and the pace and everything in this movie is great. It's it's honestly like, it's it's a good movie. It's a great movie. The trouble is, the whole premise of the film uh, is just so not, like you could not make this movie uh, right now, ever. Uh, let me just break down a little bit. If you haven't seen this movie, if you did watch the movie, maybe, maybe you didn't feel as like, judgy towards it as I did. I was I was trying to keep my feelings in check. I was trying to be like, you know, it's of another time and it is satirizing the law that is being used to tell the story. Just so that we can clear this up. Divorce Italian style, divorce was illegal in Italy. Uh, so divorce Italian style is referring to murdering your partner so that you could be single. Uh, I, you know, I don't know how much this was a common practice. And I will say it's a very, like, heightened comedic premise. Uh, but it just, the, the whole thing, every single thing about the plot of this film, I'm just like, the, the thing that made me forgive it the most was the title. Because I was like, okay, at least it's very self-aware of what's going on here. But, yeah, long story short... Amazing actor, Marcello Mastriani, maybe you know him from Eight and a Half, La Dolce Vita. Fun part of this movie, Divorce Italian Style, is that La Dolce Vita like plays a plays a part in this film. It's like playing in town and everybody wants to see it. And it's funny and meta because, you know, Marcello's in that movie. So you kept wondering, like, is he going to see himself on screen? But we we never show his character. Anyway, um, yeah, he's he's a classic of, of Italian cinema. I mean, Marcello's the man. We love Marcello in this club, uh, but he he plays a guy who's married to a woman who's like made to look rather unattractive. I guess she's got like a mustache and a unibrow and a kind of unsightly mole, and she's like always just all over uh, Fernando, who she calls Fefe. Uh, she's always she's very affectionate towards him, and he's just kind of got almost like this, uh, just like depressed. <laughs> kind of hilarious thing going on. There was a lot of times throughout this film where I was like, Marcello's face is giving me like Buster Keaton right now, where he's just got that like somber straight face thing going on. Like he always looks like he's about to go to a funeral or something. But anyway, he's he's not really into his wife, Rosalia. I think her name's Rosalia. Uh, and he, he falls for his 16 year old cousin who lives next door. So already it's like incest, uh, statutory rape, uh, but I digress. He gets this great plan to, uh, to catch his wife in, in, a, in like an affair so that in the heat of passion he could kill her in what's called an honor killing. Uh, where like if this ha and this I guess was a real law in Italy all the way up until the 1980s. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, it's an honor killing. It's also the name of the book that this movie's based on. So look at that. Look at that. We're learning. We're learning in this film club, baby. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, this premise was just bonkers. It was kind of hard for me to just like get on board with like, oh man, divorce is illegal. I guess I have to do this elaborate thing where I murder my wife so that I can marry my 16 year old cousin 
or niece. I I forget. I I would kind of, any any time the details like that were showing up, I was just like, okay, <laughs> here here we go. Uh, so I mean, it's very satirical of like the old ways in Italy. And it, it's got all kinds of commentary about like Catholicism and just kind of the Italian way of romance and uh, all that good stuff. So it's 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 you kind of got to put your brain in a time machine a little bit to like maybe actually laugh at the comedic bits in this film. Uh, it is like I like I said earlier, I mean, it's structured in a very funny way. It's got a fast pace. Uh, there's great parts where he's like daydreaming of how he's going to kill her and there's this great voiceover of like him imagining the trial where he gets away with it. Uh, so it's, it's just got like a very clever, almost like Preston Sturgis energy to it. Uh, while also being, you know, of that wonderful, uh, that era of Italian cinema that it does come from. So there's, there's certainly things to enjoy while watching divorce Italian style, but I did find myself pretty much the whole time just being like, fuck this movie a little bit. Uh, and of course, I'm going to spoil it, but the ending doesn't help because his plan, I, I mean, with a couple of wrenches thrown in that I won't spoil here, uh, it doesn't go exactly to plan, but the movie does end with him and his 16-year-old niece on a boat in kissing and enjoying each other. Mind you, she's playing footsie with the guy powering the boat, so, you know, all this trouble and she's she's... I, the, I had such a hard time being like, dude, you're going to go through all this trouble and you're going to go to jail for like several years and you're, you're telling me she's not going to fall in love with somebody else. She's a young woman who has fallen for her much older uncle. Uh, I, anyway, yeah, it's, it's a great performance from Marcello, that's for sure. He's amazing in it. I love, uh, I wrote her name down, uh, Stefania Sandrelli, who plays Angela. I loved her so much in, uh, in I Knew Her Well, which was a film that we watched couple picks back. It is in like the essential art house uh, section on Criterion Channel. So if you've never seen I Knew Her Well, watch that movie. It is so good, but she is is stupendous in it. And I think it's just like maybe a year or two after this. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's that's our pick for the week. It, it wasn't it, group. Yeah, Divorce Italian style. It was, it was a fun pick. You know, not all comedies are going to age well. Hell, even The Hangover, which is from like 20... 2009 or whatever has got mad problems that don't add up in 2022. I'll get off my soapbox about that. We're doing great. We're going to have another pick for you. Follow us at Filmstruck Film Club because that's where you're going to find out about the next pick and all the picks in the future. And uh, yeah, if you, if you want to let me know what you thought about the film or about any of the other films that we watched so far, or if there's something that you're dying to see, just, you know, shoot me a line. Comment. Slide into the DMs. I don't give a shit. Come on down. Uh, but yeah. Much love, you guys. Enjoy, enjoy your day, enjoy your week. And uh, yeah, we'll have a new pick tomorrow. So yeah, that's it, that's it. Divorce, Italian style. Go murder your wife and marry your niece.